Hi guys, James here again from Cordor Stone Gallery. Hope you're keeping safe and well in these crazy times. Uh, just to let you know, uh, since lockdown is eased, we are back and open again, ready and raring to take all your inquiries. We just do ask if you want to come down, please do make a booking on through our uh, online website or uh, over the phone for our reception. Just want to keep ourselves and your, uh, yourselves safe and give you the, the nice, calm, relaxing environment that you need when we're looking around for stone workshops. We are COVID compliant, so you will feel safe when you're down here. But the real reason for this video is we've been de uh, dying to show you this gorgeous new bit of kit that we've got that is going to make your uh, worktops sing even more. The precision work of this gorgeous machine that we've got here, the Intermac Master 33 CNC machine, works with absolute precision when it's going to be cutting out your bowls, doing your um, nice ornate edge details, LED grooves, things like that. It's really, really going to make the little bit of extra difference we have on our already high standards of worktops that we already produce. So what we'll do, we'll pop our masks on, we'll go inside, we'll show you how we draw it up, we'll put a nice little worktop on there, we'll show you how we plunge out sinks, polish the insides, tap holes, that sort of thing, and you'll see a nice finished worktop. See you inside. So, as mentioned earlier, this is our Intermax CNC machine. And what I'm going to show you on this is now is how to draw this up. We've got a small utility top here, just for the sake of speed and ease. Um, to show you on this video, I'm going to draw this physical template onto the software. We're going to program the machine and we're going to show you how millimetre perfect we're going to get this cut out done. So, we know the sizes that we're working to. So it's a very simple one, this one. So that's the outline of our, our template. And we'll save that. And we want to be so very simply already, we've got the outline of our template and we've got the sink cut out. So that's a square sink, we want to put some radishes on there. Very, very simple procedure. There we go, sink with some radishes on there. Sink's also got a tap hole. Which is central to the sink. We just want to offset that. There we go, two minutes, and that's a simple part of it drawn up. Now we want to actually put the fabrication processes in there. So the first thing on this procedure will be the tap hole itself. So. That's the cap hole calculated. Now we want to actually cut the bowl itself out. That's it. That's the machining worked out. As simple as that, dead quick. So we've got two boring operations. One to actually cut the hole, uh, tap hole out on. Second one to actually put an insertion point for the router. And the router's going to do that. So that's going to create a rough cut, store, uh, sink cut out. So what we actually need to do then is polish it. That is That is all the machining's done. So we just need now just to put our suction cups in and our stop so the machine knows where to work from. Right, that's it. Just send that to the machine and we'll uh, plot that all out.
So we've got a stop set out, so we know our setting out point for the actual stone. We've got our suction cups on there. How do we know they're in the right place, apart from the machine telling us? Well, as you know, we still use physical templates. So we can actually just try this in position. Perfect, we've got plenty of support all the way around there. This is going to hold the, uh, uh, the sink cut out piece of stone in place when it actually needs to come out. Once that's all done, all it's cut, there'll be a break in the machine. I can disconnect that, take this piece out, then it can go around and carry on the polishing. There we go. Come and have a look at the degree of polish on this. Beautifully shiny. Absolutely stunning. Will look absolutely gorgeous. As soon as you stick your sink to the underside of that, really going to look smart. <laughs>